Hello and welcome back to Midwest Mayhem 8 here in Glen Elin? Allen, Illinois? Allen. Whatever, it doesn't matter. The important thing is that you're, you are locked and loaded here on Events to Compete's Twitch channel, and I am Nightwing, and with me is my indomitable partner, Constable, Constable Lemon. Constable Lemon, how's it going? It's, it's going good, it's going good, man. And uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess around and, and wait to get into the action here. We are going right into it. We have the one and only TSM Zero going up against Chicago's own Dom. Yeah, so we're gonna be seeing Diddy uh, Fox. Definitely a common matchup that we've seen last high level play quite often, especially with Zero against plenty of top boxes. Yeah, Larry Lur, we've it's definitely seen, we've actually seen Zero versus Kasev. Um, we've seen we've seen the Fox Diddy matchup quite a bit, especially here in Chicago too. We have like four Foxes and uh, lots of good Diddy Kongs too, yeah. so. So Zero definitely is very good in the matchup. So let's see what Dom can bring to the table. Right, and the important thing here is going to be Dom finding a way back onto the stage. As we all know, Fox has a very linear, very predictable recovery. So I'm gonna have to wonder what Dom is gonna be able to do to sort of change it up and get Zero off base and sort of shut down his insanely good edge guard game. Yeah, and honestly, like Zero has really adapted like this edge guard game with Diddy Kong to like really lethal levels. Like you see it time and time again with like Cloud. Diddy Kong, or Zero Diddy Kong never misses an opportunity. And I mean, we, we saw him miss a, a dare like earlier, but like that's very uncharacteristic. Like, I was wholeheartedly expecting that to be the end of Dom's first stock, but he went very low and kind of messed up the timing a little bit. But otherwise, it's basically been, you know, as we are, are wanting to expect, the, uh, the Zero show. Yeah, Zero really just shutting down all of Dom's offensive options here and just like returning his own aggression, just like very patiently. I'd yeah, say. and that's one thing that I mean Dom is able to do is is for a while there were, there was a few foxes in um, Chicago. There was Ruins who was very conservative. There was Slojo who was very aggressive, and Dom kind of like split the difference and was kind of able to play both offensively and defensively um, quite well. And uh, the biggest problem he had was off stage, and so uh, he's trying to get that cleaned up right now. And uh, you know, no better practice than going up against the best player in the world. Yeah. Oh. And uh, Dom's actually got Zero crapped up in the air, but that back air is going to seal it for Zero, taking that first side. And that was actually very, I, I saw the animation of Fox starting his jump, so that that very nearly um, was survivable. So Dom doing okay, like that, that was just sort of like, you know, a couple of pixels, a couple of frames um, away from, from victory there. I think what Dom really needs to do to Zero here to try and turn this around, if, if not in this game, then the next one, um, would be specifically to try and catch him with an early kill, maybe a fair footstool um, or some sort of edge guard. Yeah, not only that, but like he's really needs to like keep the survivability that he's had up to this point. I mean, like it took Zero quite a while to get that stock finally, and he was able to tack on a good amount of percent just so he could get that there to up smash conversion. And it was it was at the magical percent, so that you know that makes a lot of sense that he was able to do that. Let's see if he's able to ride this wave of momentum, try and bring this back to even, and maybe take a game off of TSM Zero. Yeah, he really needs to get another juggle situation going like we saw earlier. He, he managed to get zero up in the air and got a couple up airs, which is what he needed to get that damage. And actually, really early on in this in this game one, we saw him get zero off stage and, and almost get the gimp as well. So it's certainly possible for him to turn this around. You can never count Fox out, no matter how what uh, how deep the deficit is. Yeah. All right, but zero's Diddy Kong just not letting that happen. Wow, just walking up and looking for these down tilts, because he knows just one down tilt is going to convert into a kill. But these tilts from Dom, too, just kind of boxing Zero out in this close range. Oh, and that was great. He caught the banana and then immediately Z-dropped it and got a Nair to tack on a little bit of damage and reset himself to neutral. Ooh, looking for the Sakurai combo. Oh, that's the that was the juggle starter that he needed, but Zero with a good DI. And oh. the monkey put kick is going to send him off the stage in the opposite direction. Yeah, and that was a, a, a extremely quick kick right after the flip. Um, almost kind of reminiscent of the Little Mac side B where you yeah. immediately go with the punch. It just kind of kind of came out of nowhere and hit him and all of a sudden he was finding his way off stage. But he was definitely making that comeback there. Dom looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah, Dom definitely holding his own against Zero. Uh, he, Zero definitely was not, like, had that free. Definitely did not have that free. Especially no, and, against and Fox he, with how, like, insane his kill power is. He has, like, almost, uh, like, across the board, um, been dominating his competition today. Yeah. Like, I've watched, you know, a handful of ma matches from Zero. Um, we saw him on stream a few times, off stream even, and he was just handling his business. Yeah, it's really when we get to this kind of upper bracket echelon is when, like, things can start happening with Zero. But right, right. Right now we're going to see a character switch from Zero. We're going to see the Lucina. Yeah, and that Obviously. makes sense. Um, honestly, 
And I don't think this is him like disrespecting no, Dom or anything not. like that. Zero's Lucina lately has been insanely good. It, like, it's been it's been actually oppressive. And I think the reason that he switched to Lucina was because he was not getting the edge guards he wanted with Diddy, and his Lucina edge guards are on another level. That's true, definitely. And honestly, like Zero's like play with Lucina really makes me feel like this is like not just like some kind of pocket pick. This is like his new secondary. This is no, yeah, this is this Lucina is here to stay. I sure. actually talked to him a little bit earlier, and he he confirmed that Lucina is now going to be his his secondary moving forward. Um, yeah. Like but like not he's not gonna mess around with Cloud or any other character. He's like yes, Lucina Lucina fits me, and and I feel like I'm successful with her. So yeah, uh, words right right from the man himself. Um, yeah. Lucy, Lucina is his secondary. Yeah, and it's a really good pick, too, just like with his play style. He's so patient and spacing orientated. Like, he can really make use of uh, Lucina's best tools. And, we, and the, the thing that, you know, why uh, some people might ask is why Lucina over Marth? And that's because you get c consistency all across the blade. So it does, means that when he's edge guarding, he doesn't have to worry about getting a tipper to edge guard properly. He can just get the edge guard anywhere at, at any time. Correct, but we are seeing down with a little bit of a. Like offense there, he got a couple up tilts, but Zero did a great job avoiding the up airs. He has he has signs of life, does Dom. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, yeah. like this, it, it, it's just such a tall order just to go up against Zero in general. Um, yeah, I, and, and I feel like they're trading like Dom gets one hit, Zero gets two hits. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, you know, when you're going up against someone that good, you can't, uh, you have to be the one that's getting two to one. Ooh. And it's just not happening. Oh, and I'm really surprised we didn't see a, at least a forward tilt, if not a forward smash there from Zero. Yeah, um, kind of, Don kind of, is able to return. Yeah, kind of an unexpected situation there. But the ledge trump back here from Zero. He's been catching him a lot with these ledge trumps, and he's finally able to capitalize with the and stock. That's, and that's classic Smash 4 right there. Yeah. Like, that's that's some that's some day one tech that we, we found out was these ledge trump opportunities. And, uh, you know, sometimes you go back way back into the book of tricks, and you get stuff that works. And ledge trump's an old standby. All right. I love the, that back air spacing. Almost followed up for even more uh, offense from Zero, but Zero's just gonna back away and find his opening once again. Oh, he's gonna, okay. I, I definitely thought he might have tried to beefy up B there to you know do it, and I'm really happy that he did. Yeah, I mean Zero like really. I've seen a lot of like as and Mars. Oh my goodness. Okay, I not gonna be in. quite going to do it, but that does mean that Dom is now on notice. He has to put his get-ups in a very careful, measured area if he wants oh. to try and bring this back. Only 9% higher than he was when he got the first stock in game one. Nothing measured about that up smash. Definitely Ooh. raw, and he got that stock, so Dom is still in this, but off stage like this, Zero getting that edge guard forward air. Yeah, no, that's, that's done. He was, he was still in this up until... He got off stage. Until he was off stage. If he could have kept his feet planted, he would have been okay, but. All right, so zero up, two to oh against Dom. Gonna be difficult for Dom to pull this reverse 3 0, but. And actually, I think zero might be switching back to Diddy. I mean. Depends on the stage pick, I think. I think another thing that is like really good about zero having such a solid secondary is he's able to go back and forth between the two, kind of throw off people's games. But he is gonna stick with the Lucina for this one. Uh, that edge guarding, as you said, was very, very good for. Zero it was. It was just so crisp. Like yeah. it was just. It didn't. It seemed effortless when he what he was doing with uh, with Lucina there. Yeah, I mean Zero's like movement and like play with Lucina, like as far as like spacing and how he utilizes like all of her moves and just like kind right. of maximizes her potential. Yeah, he seems to get the most mileage out of every option he chooses. And uh, as we go back to Smashville here, where Zero did secure the win. Um, I, I, that was with Diddy Kong now. Now it's Lucina, which is a whole different beast to take care of. And uh, unfortunately for oh Dom... Oh my goodness, he trapped him with those up airs so perfectly that he got the forward smash on the landing. You literally took the words on off. I was, like I said, unfortunately for Dom, and I was going to say, he's in a bad spot. If he air dodges, he's dead, but... It, Zero, like, stopped you before you even said it. Cause, like, he's, he's like, like oh, no, this is on display right he's now. He's like, nah, man, I know. Somebody help him, okay. I, it's like, I, I know. What do I look like? I'm, I'm zero, damn it. And he just got another F smash. Yeah, oh, oh and he didn't get the spike hitbox. But he might go for it again. And oh. great tech. Dom is a great techer. Like, uh, like if you're Fox, you have to be, but. Wow. Zero he, he, just completely picked this man apart. He, like, from, he just did brain surgery. That was brain surgery right there. Yeah, that was that was pinpoint. That was like, uh, like precision airstrike. So I would let Zero like operate on my brain. No, <laughs> no, no, no joke. After seeing that, only with Lucina though. I don't no, want those monkey paws in there. He's got like the, 
using like the Falcon to like, ow. Maybe, maybe something smaller. Yeah. Maybe not, maybe not that, but uh, Dom getting some advice here from Zero. Um, obviously it was a pretty pretty close set there, so well, he, some, not some that good. Last game. Not the, the last no, game was not close. La but. Last game, I, I was gonna, I was gonna leave that one, leave that one lay. Yeah, Dom definitely uh, like was able to keep up with Zero, especially in those first two games. But Zero just like that's why he's a top player. He, he, turned, he put it on another new, level. Yeah, he can like adapt to new players and like how they like uh, basically play the game differently because everybody plays the game differently. It, it's very much, it's very much like he got the you know the download and then turned it all on. Like he he played sort of. Not as good as he could have, just to let like Dom figure like show his hand, right. and then he's like, "Oh, you only have two two threes. I have pocket aces, and you, yep. you're done." All right, looks like we are gonna have J.K. and 